it was a really interesting and cool thing to do. And I'm kind of shocked at the results in like a really good way. Hey guys, it's Shannon from That DIY Couple. I am about to go and get a DEXA scan, which I'm really excited about. I wanna see what my body composition is and so I can track how it changes over time. So I'm about to mask up and go into this building and get the scan done. This is the DEXA scanner that I just took a scan on. I had to sit in the middle here with this line and some paper down, and then this machine just really quickly went over me. It only took like three minutes. It was very loud. It kind of felt like an MRI. And now they've got my results here and the doctor is going to go over them with me. So I've just gotten out of my DEXA scan and it was a really interesting and cool thing to do. And I'm kind of shocked at the results in like a really good way. Like I'm kind of feeling myself right now because before doing the scan, I felt like I was pretty like overweight and like I needed to lose a fair amount because even just five days ago when I measured myself on the BMI scale, I was just into the overweight category. And now I've been doing fasting for a couple of days. I'm on the fifth day of a fasting challenge that I'm doing with John. And I kind of did this DEXA scan to get my like before baseline. And one of the things I've been worried about is what I thought all this tummy fat that I thought was like visceral fat, which is the really bad stuff that you have to worry about. The doctor told me is not visceral fat and that visceral fat you can't feel, but this is loose skin from my uh, weight loss and from my pregnancy. And I just assumed that it was fat. Not to brag, but my results were like way better than I thought that they would be. First of all, when they first printed it out, they had me wrong. They said that I was 25, I'm actually 35. And the guy was like, oh, if you're 35, it's gonna be even better. So he told me that I was in the fourth percentile for leanness as a 25 year old. As a 35 year old, I'm in the third percentile. So you can see here, the purple graph, you see me down there? I'm in the fourth percentile for body fat, which the doctor just kept repeating, like, you're very lean. You're very, you're very muscular and lean, which I've always just felt big, I guess. I have always, in my mind, associated myself with being like a bigger, which I guess I am. Like the word lean has a lot of positive connotations in our culture. And I feel like I've just always kind of felt more like a dump truck. He was talking to me about how the BMI is really not accurate because it doesn't account for mus muscle distribution, which everybody knows. I think I always had a little bit of a complex about the fact that my BMI is higher than other people's. He said he looks at the ratio of total mass to fat mass. So my total mass is 183.3 pounds today and my fat is 48.7 pounds. He said that that's a good ratio. He also said that my bone density was really high, which I'm so thrilled about because I have a really strong family history of arthritis and osteoporosis, but different types of arthritis on both sides. And so he said I'm in the 97th percentile for bone density, which is fantastic. And um, shocking to me because I do have like joint pain. I have like hip pain and I've had a pretty serious knee injury and like the other day I fell and I hurt my wrist and it's really still hurting. So I was really happy to, to know that. And I think if it was negative, I would have wanted to know that too because I probably would have changed something about my diet or my supplementation. He said that my resting metabolic rate, which is computed based on my lean muscle mass, is estimated to be 1600 calories a day, which I think is like lower than what I thought like one might need to eat. Like I would have assumed it was closer to 2000. He said that that's actually high for a woman because I'm quite tall. I'm really excited to see what fasting does to these numbers and I'm, they almost make me question whether or not I need to be fasting. So here's like the body comp data. So my total mass is 183.3 pounds. My fat mass is 48.7 pounds. My lean mass is 126.4 and my fat percentage is 27.8 and my BMC, I don't know what that means, but my BMC in pounds is 8.2. And one of the things that he told me is that he, he was able to look at my 
this is what's kind of cool your body comp there's like a table here that has like what percentage of your body is fat one thing that really put my mind at ease he said i'm very evenly distributed and my visceral adipose tissue is not pro problematic and that was the real concern for me is that i felt i thought that i had a lot of visceral fat when i guess i was just wrong so the estimated visceral adipose tissue in volume was 22.38 inches or 0.76 pounds of fat i'm just like shocked and delighted both that they thought that i was 25 and also that they told me that my body is very lean because i don't always feel like that in comparison to all other women i know i'm like very large and so i've always felt like super large which i associate with being overweight for a period of time as you guys know i was like a hundred pounds overweight there's like this mental thing where my mind still thinks that i'm bigger and in fact i am like a large person it's just that i'm not fat i'm i'm muscular and it was really like re a relief i think to have a medical professional and a like very techni technical scan people will give you little bits of feedback about what you look like to them throughout life but i don't always believe them i've never felt like an issue with my self-worth or my self-esteem i just thought that factually i was like on the heavier side because my bmi told me that i was hoping that it's like safe for me to continue fasting because he said i was very low i was very lean in terms of like fat so i don't want to get too lean and i definitely don't want to do anything that'll mess with my fertility i will keep you guys posted as to how things go and how the fasting challenge progresses until next time do well and always make things better oh.